Hey, this is Rolly Sweetman. I'm checking in with you from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I'm here for the uh, 95th Grey Cup Championship of Canadian football. Real football, this is three down football, where they actually pass the ball once in a while instead of uh, four down NFL. This year, the Grey Cup should be uh, awesome. It's two prairie teams where I'm from. Uh, Alberta is one of the prairies, but it's uh, Saskatchewan Rough Riders versus the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. I am here because I won a competition in our beer company. I sold enough cases of beer that they are uh, sending me here uh, for nothing. I'm supposed to run into Merle, actually, who's a super duper Rough Riders fan. He's probably wearing a watermelon on his head as I speak. But uh, we'll see if we can catch him on a sober moment. But uh, if not, uh, we'll talk to him when he's drunk. I just handed the tapes off to Wes. He's asked me to do some audio commentary. So here goes. I had some time to kill. Decided to walk around downtown Toronto. You know, any other day of the year, you put your head down and walk away. But since it's Grey Cup, you talk to everyone. No matter how scary. You're going down, Bombers. You're going down! We don't know how people feel when they meet Stan. This guy was still trying to get tickets. If you didn't have tickets by now, you were shit out of luck. The CN Tower, where it's so tall, that if you hawked the loogie off that top platform, it fell all the way down and landed on someone's head. It sliver right through their brain. And here, and here I guess I just didn't shut off the camera. And here, and here, this is Gainer Gopher, the Saskatchewan mascot. In Alberta, we shoot vermin. We need a team in Alberta. Let's hear you. I ran into this girl. She's a cheerleader for a Canadian football team that never existed, the Atlantic Schooners. Mascot's lobster. Good thing they chose that over crabs. So I met up with Merle. I told Merle earlier this summer I may have a ticket. But for me, not him and his three buddies. Because you said well, you're going to be a top of the breakup. I said, I'm coming. You said you had a line on, on uh, four or five tickets. No, no. I got a ticket from my boss for coming out here, like the beer company. I never said I had four tickets for you. you have you guys tried the scalp or anything? Well, yeah. We're going to have to go to them now. Because uh, they won $300 a fucking piece. So there's me and Will arguing. And if he just tilts down... <laughs> If you just send her the shot for fuck's sake. Have fun. I never said I'd get them tickets. I said that I may have a line on tickets. That was a month ago. And then my company sends me out. Uh, you know, is the for the beer contest. It's got nothing to do with Merle. So anyway, I hope he enjoys the game watching some bar of it. It's not my problem, man. And then it was off to watch the big game, which Saskatchewan won for the first time in 19 years. Well, the next day I had some time to kill before my flight. And Merle had time to kill before his 34-hour bus ride back home. And since football was over, it was time for hockey. The Hockey Hall of Fame is the shrine. Every boy, and even some girls, dream of being here. I've got nothing to joke about here. It's a Hall of Fame. It's the Mecca. It's Red Square. It's Graceland. Now take a look at Merle. I've never seen anyone so hungover. How many times have you puked today? I haven't. I got kicked in the malls though last night. <laughs> so. What was her name? We're standing in line to see Stanley Cup and all I can think is, Merle, don't puke. For God's sake, don't puke in the Holy Grail, man. Do not puke in the Stanley Merle. Cup. Merle escapes from the prison cell of his hotel room or wherever he ended up passing out after his big riders victory and makes it to the Hockey Hall of Fame. So there you go. I mean, hockey minds all think alike, right? And uh, so I saw him there, man, he looked hung but happy. And it was really cool actually getting my picture taken with the Stanley Cup with Merle. The memory of all his treasure. Maybe as much as the Grey Cup itself. Anyway, signing off.